wholesale specific tips too. Yeah, yeah. So I can, if it's cool with you, I can kind of debunk the mystery around wholesale because I can. It doesn't take me a long time to put myself back into that seat of like. What does that even mean, right? Like, like, what do I need to be able to contact like these big distributors or these manufacturers? It just seems so intimidating. I remember that specific feeling like, man, I'm just a dude working out of like my garage, you know, like I'm going to try to reach out to these guys and they're going to laugh at me, you know, now I'm, I totally understand the other side of it. It's like, they want you as a customer, right? But let me kind of give you, last night we talked about this too, like, how do you make complex things very simple? Okay. And the way you always do that is focus on the things that matter, right? So we can talk for two weeks about all the different things you can possibly do via wholesale. Okay. But here's what really matters. If you're listening to this and like, yeah, you know, I just want to be set up to possibly purchase things wholesale. Here's what you need. All they want to do is know that you're taking your business seriously. Okay. That usually comes in these forms. They want some form of a tax ID, which is like, you can get that you know, online. Okay. Some form of tax ID that just shows that you, you know, have a business that is going to register its taxes. They want some form of an address. Okay. Sometimes they require that to be a store. Sometimes they don't, depending on what you're going for. And then they want some type of, you know, name and establishment that you are. If you have those things, okay, you're like 80, 90% on the way there. Okay. That I didn't realize that on my side originally. I thought you like, oh man, you got to just jump through all these hoops all the time. But if I have those things in my hands, I'm okay. I'm good to go. And I can pretty much talk to any wholesale provider, whether they're the manufacturer, distributor or anything like that. So I just want you to know it's that simple. Okay. There isn't like this daunting list that you have to overcome in order to, you know, start purchasing things wholesale. Does that make sense, Jim? Yeah, it does. And, and let me, one other thing I think we'd probably throw on the list is sometimes they'll say, Hey, uh, do you have a website? Yeah, that's right. You know, you're totally right. A website. You're right. Right. A simple one page website. I mean, come on, we don't have to hold your hand on that one. Do we? I mean, you know, right. just come up with a legitimate business name, make it match a legitimate business bank account. Now you can go pay several thousand dollars for a course that tells you this stuff or come on, figure it out, get on fiverr.com and have someone build you a one page website, go to your bank and set up a legitimate business bank account. They'll step you through it. Any bank in town loves new business accounts. Say, Hey, I need you to help me step through this. I want a legitimate looking business account and I'm going to set up a website and you know, the banker can help you with this stuff. We're not going to hold your hand on this stuff. This is simple, simple stuff. Don't be intimidated by these steps. Right. So if you have those things, okay, kind of picture it this way, you're now prepared to talk to any manufacturer, any wholesale provider. Okay. That's kind of the, like that was the magic that 